what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk today I want to talk about uh J Prince of rap a lot and if you guys don't know who J Prince is he's the Houston equivalent to somebody like Suge Knight or P Diddy or Russell Simmons in Houston okay that's what he is like LaFace Records used to be in Atlanta um you know he had the, the ghetto boys many acts he's a he's a shrewd businessman excellent businessman I have a lot of respect for Jay Prince and as we know his son I believe Jazz Prince had a birthday and that is why Quavo and Takeoff were there celebrating with him all right now it seems like the dice games is something that Jay Prince and his team is known for having. All right. And there was a young lady on TikTok, um, Tina Bean. Shout out to her. Go follow her on TikTok, guys. She has a pretty good explanation of what she thinks happened. All right. It's probably the best one that I've seen so far on the internet. So I'm going to play her video and then I'll come back and we'll get into Jay Prince's response. Okay, so this is what I think happened with the Quavo and Takeoff situation with Jazz Prince. And I am formulating this opinion based off of what the examiner put out, the videos that were out, and then the witness statements that were taken. All right, so they're out there for Jazz Prince's birthday, Jazz Prince Jr. They're out there hanging out for Halloween. They are having a dice game, which if you follow anything about the Prince family, they have those frequently. So they were at a dice game. Now, the narrative being painted that Quavo losing money and getting upset and that's why he was shot. I don't know where that's coming from because it's very clear from the video footage that this altercation happened well after that dice game. Regardless if they were arguing at the dice game, outside of the dice game, it's irrelevant. So I don't know why people keep bringing that up. As they're arguing, um, ba basketball is brought up and you can clearly hear Quavo saying, I don't play like that. Like, I don't play like that. Which actually corroborates what the girl was saying. The girl on the Girl Scouts outfit who said that she was there was saying that the guy from Prince's team had made a joke and the joke was not funny to Quavo. And Quavo was checking him like, I don't play like that. You could see him doing that in the video. However, he wasn't as heated as people are trying to make it seem like he was just going off. He was not. And you can also see that in the video. If you're wondering where to find these videos, they're all on TMZ's page. And this video does not have, you can't see anybody dying. There's no dead bodies in this video. This is literally the initial video. Now, with that being said, although Quavo wasn't hyped, the guy next to him was clearly hyped. And you can see Quavo trying to calm this man down. So Quavo ends up ending it and says, you know what? We're about to go. We're about to leave. Thank you for your time. We're leaving. So he turns around to leave and the same guy turns around as all their bodies are turned this way, a boy turns around and clocks somebody from Jay Prince's team. After that happens, that's when the shooting starts happening. You can hear that the shooting is coming from one area. You can see that. So obviously somebody from Quavo's team, which if you look at the video footage too, I think it's Quavo's brother that was there who had the Seattle Seahawks hat on. He also had a gun at the time. So based off of what the coroner was saying, takeoff didn't die from one shot, but multiple shots. So if we watch back on the video, takeoff started running one way. I think he ended up getting caught in the line of fire between both parties. I think it's really fucked up that people are saying that like Quavo's team killed him because clearly they didn't. Quavo's team only pulled out a gun because they pulled out a gun. They pulled out a gun because somebody on Quavo's team ended up hitting somebody from their team. It's not fucking rocket science, you guys. I think it was tragic. I truly think that takeoff getting killed was an accident. Nobody was aiming at Quavo. Nobody was trying to shoot Quavo. Whoever that man is that threw that punch, he was the aggressor in the situation. They got in an argument. They were trying to leave. The guys were ready to let them leave until that situation happened. Also, the shader and posted and was like, you know, um, words from the coroner's office saying that takeoff's body was ready for pickup. People are mad about that. Why are you upset? His body is ready for pickup. Okay, so now that we've seen what I think probably could have happened, not to say it happened like that, but it's a good indication of maybe what could happen. Here's what Jay Prince said in response after the death of takeoff. The Prince family would like to send our condolences to the family and friends of a beautiful soul, YR and takeoff. To Houstonians and families around the world, this one breaks my heart because takeoff was a brother, a son, a role model, and a God-loving God human being. Grief is the price of love, a bill, P 
people from across the globe are paying right now as we mourn this loss. I've been knowing Takeoff Quavo on Offset for many years, and there's been nothing but mutual love for one another, and that ain't ever going to change where we are concerned. This shouldn't have happened. This shouldn't have happened in our city. This shouldn't have been recorded, and this damn sure shouldn't be circulating across social media for family, friends, and fans to see. As I write this, I'm angry about the lack of love and respect we have for one another as a race, which keeps bringing us back to the same tragic place of black on black killing. Now, a brother by the name of John, um, and I'm going to keep reading the statement. He goes, well, how does Jay Prince know that a black person killed takeoff? Who said the shooter was black, right? So it's a good point because there's multiple ethnicities that's there at the time, right? He also says, they say Satan is the author of confusion. And right now, there are a lot of lies and false narratives being spread about a media horse. I consider myself a man that's quick to listen and so, so to speak. Therefore, to whomever is responsible for putting that bullet in my little nephew's head, let it be known that you can't hide behind me. That's something that's, you know, also, I don't know why he would say that. That's doesn't make any sense. It almost could implicate you for the a lot of times Jay Prince says things at, at a man his age he should stay away from s making statements and I, I I'm pretty sure that he wrote this himself being that this sounds like Jay Prince he he says this you know same same things on PNB Rock uh, when he got killed but um okay I don't think that was a, a you know as intelligent thing that he could have said again that's the black man's ego again but it just it just looks bad even though he don't I don't think he has anything to do with it he says. Um, I speak these words not knowing whose bullet is responsible for the death. With that being said, the root of this tragedy is foolish and has to be owned by the fool. I will sum this up by saying a gun in the hands of any human that closes eyes to shoot and doesn't have the proper skills of operating the gun is dangerous and results usually in with innocent people that had nothing to do with the altercation being shot or killed. How does he know that the person's eyes were closing? Again, all right. Well, let me let me just say this. If Jay Prince is known for having dice games. And this is how the sun operates. I've been seeing Jay Prince, you know, coming after guys in the hip hop community. And again, I like Jay Prince a lot. I think he's a um, shrewd businessman again. And he usually, you know, he monetized hip hop in a time where wasn't nobody else thinking about it. He made a lot of money. But Jay Prince, you, you have also helped, brother, create the culture of where hip hop is and rap is now. I mean, the sipping on the syrup, all this stuff. A lot of things that was coming out in, 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 in Houston rap music that was pejorative, celebrating um, violence. Brother, a lot of that came through your watch, brother. It ain't like you was promoting Christian rap. And, you know, the the dice games and the Pookies and Ray Rays. And, they, you know, obviously they said that you're a big man in Houston and, you know, things like that happen. So it, it's almost like, you know, and they said that Jay Prince is nobody to fuck with. Like he he's really a gangster. Like he with the stuff. And I like I said, I got respect for Brother Jay Prince. But we're gonna have to be honest that the 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 culture of Pookies and Ray Rays, that's what Jay Prince and Rap a lot was about. You know what I'm saying? That's what it was about. So although I don't think our brother is responsible for this, but Jay Prince in the culture, they have he's one of the most iconic people in hip hop, in the history of hip hop, especially in the South. All right. And a lot of stuff can't even go down in Houston without Jay Prince saying, tell you himself, you can't come to Houston without checking in with me. And so while I'm while I'm seeing that he's, you know what I mean, not responsible. And I know he got love for um, Quavo and love for takeoff and he would never want it to happen to them. He's an elder, right? But, you know, we got to be real, brother. You know, it ain't like, you know, these Pookies and Ray Rays didn't have good teachers. And a lot of the rap music that's, that's that's come out has come out on your watch. And we gotta accept that. That hip hop, we, people had help getting to where it is right now. Jay Prince can't just say he was a pioneer in hip hop. If it was KRS one, that's different. You know, public enemy, that's different. Chuck D, that's different. I don't blame them. But 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 Jay Prince, come on, bro. We're gonna be real. We're gonna be real, bro. Y'all been doing a lot. Y'all been doing Pookie and Ray Ray stuff for years. Years, brother. But guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe at the bell. 
check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at an all-time high. I am out. <laughs>